DDOT is reducing the speed limit in key DC corridors to 25 miles per hour. 7 News reporter Joy Wang is live on New York Avenue in Northeast DC. And Joy DDOT says this is all about safety. Yeah, that's what they're focusing on vision zero safety, but the drivers we're speaking with are telling us they're not happy and they disagree. Behind me, you can see some changes already that 25 miles per hour speed limit sign already up, reminding people it is photo enforced. Speaking of photo enforcement, look right across the street. We also are seeing those cameras right there and on the ground on the road right here. You're also seeing it painted 25 miles per hour. Let's get to the areas with those changes, though. We're showing you a graphic on your screen about what's next in the red, what's already changed in the blue, what's also coming. DDOT says it's lowered the speed limit to 25 on Connecticut Avenue from the Maryland line at South about five miles and they've started doing the same on New York Avenue Northeast, a short stretch from North Capitol Street to just past Florida Avenue, both now at 25 miles per hour. But the plan is actually to reduce the speed limit all the way to the PG County line by the end of the year. Now you're probably wondering why these roads. Well, DDOT didn't give specific reasons for the roads it chose, but did point to a triple A study that found a person was about 70% more likely to die if they're struck by a car are traveling at 30 miles per hour versus 25 miles per hour. Drivers who spoke with 7 News not only aren't convinced it'll make things safer, but question the reasoning. I don't see any schools here. I think it's about money. I got a chance for the school, but there's no schools here. So I think it's about money. The tickets are outrageous. That's not fair to, to the citizens. It's like, we can't keep affording this with everything going up. Pretty soon, no one nobody be doing nothing. Back out here live, you are seeing Connecticut Avenue on the left side and New York Avenue very busy right now on the right side of the screen. Again, DDOT is saying this is going to make a big difference in avoiding crashes and serious injuries and that it advances Mayor Bowser's vision zero goals to try and reach zero deaths and serious injuries by 2024. By the way, another concern some of the drivers brought up, the area off 295 saying it feels like a freeway. There aren't any lights and they're worried that it's going to just be a mess with these changes. Tom Rousey also really covering this story yesterday with a lot more details. You want to head to WJLA.com to see exactly where all these changes are and will be. For now, live in Northeast, Joy Wang, 7 News.